The Queen's legacy of humility, strength, and forgiveness inspired local nonprofit Hui Hanai to re release an expanded version of Queen Liliuo Kalani's memoirs. Written while the last monarch of the Hawaiian Kingdom was under house arrest, Hawaii's story by Hawaii's Queen in its original publishing was heavily censored by editors on the East Coast. It's really important to bring Liliuo Kalani's words forward for today. It was really important to let her be heard. The beauty of the book is not only in its visual design, but also in the unfolding of new stories and never before seen archival photos, which all shed light on Hawaiian history. So most people who had read the book in the past had said they, they had figured out what had happened by reading between the lines. I mean, there's a chapter called the overthrow of the monarchy that doesn't really talk about the overthrow at all. It always been very strange, and this revelation that there's a that there's an, a a fuller version, it makes a lot of sense. There is an obvious difference in size, and there are so many things that the queen wanted to say during that time that she couldn't be able to say. And now, more than a hundred years later, I think that it's great that she's finally able to have her words out in the public. As the first place winners in the State History Day Documentary Division, Kamehameha students Casey Yasuda and Tehani Lewis Perkins will use the new passages from the book to provide a deeper perspective that will hopefully further their success at nationals in Maryland. My project is about Queen Liliuokalani's 1897 trip to Washington, D.C. and it basically just follows her and what she did while she was there. It was during this time that the Queen stood up to the U.S. to seek the restoration of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Until now, this important part of history has only been told by those who overthrew the Queen and took control of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Now we have the full version of both sides. And so the Queen's side is especially important for kind of undoing this context that's been created by the dominance of only one side of the story. So neither side is definitive. Everybody should be reading both sides. History isn't something that happened and it's done. We constantly uncover new things about the past that we, we didn't know. Reading her words can help Hawaiians understand and possibly heal and really come to realization for themselves and move on. We're the next generation, you know, we're the ones that she thought about. You know, it's for us to look up to and for us to live up to. And we've seen the 1970s Renaissance. And I just think that we can do that too as young Hawaiians if we're educated and we know our history. Those interested in learning more about Hawaii's story by Hawaii's Queen can visit the University of Hawaii Press website. For Hikino, I'm Elijah Hulen at Kamehameha Schools Kapa'alamak.